Hi there, me again. Uh, I guess today we're going to be talking about Bruce Coburn's My Beat, uh, which is off of the Anything, Anytime, Anywhere album. Uh, first thing you need to know is that it sounds a lot better if you use a 12-string, uh, but you don't necessarily have to. And then the tuning. The tuning is double drop D, so it's standard tuning with the high E and the low E tuned down a whole step but everything is tuned down another whole step so double drop c i guess i don't know what really to call it but it's double drop d tuned down one whole step and then cable it up one half step uh, why didn't he just tune the thing down a half step and be done with it i guess he liked his strings loose i don't really know but so anyways um here's your notes Again. Okay, uh, and another note, uh, this is the first uh, song that I've, I've done of Mr. Coburn's um, since I've had the G and the D pairs switched on this guitar, and I guess that's the same thing that Bruce does. Uh, I read it in a magazine, so it must be true. Uh, and so, uh, and the reason for this is because you're often, you're often coming up when you're playing fingerstyle of these strings, and it sounds better, at least to my ears, um, if the initial attack is on the high string. So, you're allowed to do things like that. Now, the problem is, is if you, if you do this to your guitar, uh, when you try to play things in Travis style. That doesn't sound that bad, but but you know the point is is that when you're alternating between the A string and the D string, uh, you kind of like them to, to have them in the same configuration. And, and once you once you destroy that, then it doesn't sound quite as good to my ears. Uh, for me, it's a good trade though. Because it, as Bruce says, it sounds like automatic weapon fire in the distance. <laughs> uh, I don't know about that, but I don't think I've ever heard. Well, I guess I have. But I was thinking about something else last time I heard automatic weapon fire in the distance. I'll tell you that. Anyways, all right, uh, let's get to the song now that we've got the tuning down and the capo. Uh, capo fret one. All right, so first chord is... Oh, and by the way, uh, I'm going to try to remember to do this as uh, string one, two, three, four, five, six. And when I speak about um, uh, what fret we're on, I'm going to ignore the capo uh, and just say, look, this is the third fret, this is the fifth fret. All right. Um, even though it's capoed up one. So you start out, uh, let's see, um, fourth string, 11th fret, third string, 10th fret, Second string, 11th fret. So again, fourth string, 11th fret, third string, 10th fret, second string, 11th fret. And, and that's all you need to know in the beginning. In the beginning, all you do is you play this, and then you drop that third string uh, when the time comes. Um, it, it is actually sort of a Travis thing because he's he's alternating his thumb, and all I do is is get a sort of a so put those two together. This Then you have to do a turnaround where you go. So, and you know, keeping this going, uh, it's it's a good trick. It's like a banjo roll, and once you learn it, you can use it in a lot of things. Um, I think I, I started doing this uh, when I was learning some Fleetwood Mac tune, 
and, and, and uh, I'll never go back again. Uh, where he, where he, he started to do these reverse banjo rolls, and I started incorporating that in my playing because it, it just sounded so cool. It was another tool in the belt. So um, uh, you would have learned this if you know Foxglove as well. There, there, there's some, some sort of reverse banjo rolls in there, and it's just a great tool to have. So anyways... <laughs> So uh, the rest of it uh, is, until you get to the chorus, it's just a dropping two string progression. So it's all going to be on the second string and the fourth string. So first, uh, first position is second string ninth fret, um, fourth string eleventh. And then drop the da, 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 da. And then drop that uh, fourth string one to the tenth fret. Ta -da. And then slide that down so that fourth string is at eighth fret, uh, second string is at seventh fret. Da -da -da -da. So, da. oops, sorry. Second string fourth, no, no, sorry. Second string sixth fret, fourth string sixth fret. Da, da, da. Uh, second string fourth fret, uh, fourth string fifth fret. Da, da, da. Uh, second string second fret, fourth string fourth fret. Da, da. And then just repeat it. Congratulations, you now know the choruses. Um, so again. Second string, seventh fret. And 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 and, and on this one, I don't think it's quite the way Bruce does it, but I, I like the, the way I'm doing it. Um, so you know, again, you're still doing that Travis style, alternating with your thumb. And what I'm doing is I'm picking on the third string coming up, and on my guitar, because I swap the strings, it sounds good. Because um, so. And all I'm doing is going this, and then predominantly uh, with my with my other fingers I'm going. I'm sure I'm throwing other stuff in there, but so. Okay, so I'm. go to I guess what it would be a C um, uh, first finger string five fourth fret string four sixth fret string two sixth fret And then 
fifth string, third fret, second string, fourth fret. Sort of the way, the same way you'd play an E minor seventh, uh, you know, a, a admitting that the capo's there. So again, um, beginning of the chorus, third string, fourth fret. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Second string, fifth fret. So. Um, oh, fifth string, fourth fret. Uh, fourth string, sixth fret. Second string, sixth fret. And then uh, fifth string, third fret. Second string, fourth fret. And then back to the beginning. I'll try to do it real slow and, and just the whole thing, and then we'll we'll close this out. Okay, so those th that that should be the basic tools uh, that you need to do this tune. Um, uh, again, I'd like to remind everybody to uh, please continue to buy Bruce's uh, CDs, books, um, DVDs, uh, uh, and and you know obviously make it worth his while to uh, continue doing this so that we can continue to enjoy it. And thanks for. Um, Thanks for watching these videos, and I have a virtual tip jar set up if you want to defray my non-existent expense for doing these. Uh, it's always nice to see a few bucks here and there to pay for strings. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that's it. Uh, thanks a lot. Take care.